Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Rustam, and today I'm going to record in a, another lecture for B.S. English third semester students who are studying Introduction to English, uh, uh, who are intro, uh, studying to, uh, who are studying Introduction to Linguistics. So uh, we uh, have given a photocopy of Jaju's book, uh, The Study of Language, to B.S. English third semester students. So. Uh, although I'm using other books as well, but this is our main study book. So today I'll discuss chapter three, which is uh, about this topic: properties of language. So Jaju's divides properties of language into two groups. In the in group one or in set one, he ta uh, discusses those uh, uh, properties of human language. Which are unique with human language. That is, they are key or core uh, characteristics of human language. They are not found in uh, uh, other uh, communication system, particularly animal communication system. Or even if they are found uh, in, <coughs> in other communication systems, the the degree of presence is not as pervasive as is in uh, human communication system. In the second group, uh, Jajul adds those properties. Which can be found both in human communication system as well as uh, other communication systems. Now let me uh, zoom in. So these are six properties which Jajul mentions as core or unique features of human language. Okay. Now these are displacement, uh, arbitrariness, productivity, discreteness, duality, and cultural transmission. So these are core features which are found only in human communication system. Now these properties, uh, which uh, can be which human shares, human beings share with others, like uh, animal communication system. These are vocal, auditory uh, channel, uh, reciprocity, specialization, non-directionality, and rapid fade and uh, prevarication. Okay. Pre-verification uh, is mentioned by Jarjul not in the chapter, rather he discusses it in the discussion section at the end of the chapter and here he mentions uh, Charles Hockett because this feature has been mentioned by Charles Hockett uh, in his work uh, 1958 and 1963 onward. So uh, this has also been added. So you can uh, as a student you can now uh, re uh, uh, put uh, these uh, list of these properties into your memory that uh, there are two uh, there are features of human language which are only uh, peculiar to human language okay these are six and there are other six features which uh, are common between human language and other communication system let's discuss these features one by one First of all, we have displacement. This is a unique human uh, property, uh, uh, property of human language. That is, we humans, uh, through our language, we can talk about events which are in future or in the past. So far, uh, 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 events far removed in time and space. That is, we can talk about uh, uh, events which are very far away from us are which are very far away from us in future as well as in the past but uh, animal communication system they can't talk about uh, they don't have this feature rather they their their um, uh, communication system is for this moment here and now our immediate environment and uh, uh, he uh, George will mentions uh, however some degree of displacement in other communication systems like uh, he gives example of work bee worker bee okay so if a worker bee finds a source of nectar somewhere let's say so when it returns uh, to the beehive and it wants to communicate this news to other uh, bees so what does it do it uh, indulges in a complex dance okay this complex dance has a uh, different meaning okay if the dance is round it means that the source of nectar or the source of food is uh, located quite near so other bees gets the meaning or message and uh, that uh, the the source of food 
is quite near and uh, they will get to it quite easily and if the worker b uh, starts doing a tail wagging dance tail wagging dance in which she you know wags the tail it wags the tail it means the source of nectar is further away so you can say distance is being shown through complex dance okay distance or displacement is being shown through complex dance so but uh, you know this is only with uh, uh, bees other animals or other insects may not be able to communicate this way and even this uh, uh, you know, displacement uh, th this complex dance does not tell the uh, other bees that how uh, how long they have to fly how far the source of food is exact uh, uh, you know digit cannot be mentioned but we human can mention exact uh, digit we can tell that uh, how far is the food uh, in which direction is the food etc so the property uh, of human language which enables us to talk about future as well as the past events or the objects is known as displacement and this is unique our core feature next we have uh, uh, the another property arbitrariness so arbitrariness is a unique idea that uh, human language is not iconic there are there are three types of uh, signs one is iconic sign another one is indexical sign and third one is symbolic sign so human language does not use iconic uh, signs it uses symbolic signs so uh, no iconic relationship between linguistic form and the objects it represents like uh, as you can see this is an uh, this is an icon uh, icon of a car as soon as the viewers uh, have a look at this icon so they can immediately name it they will say car but now look at these symbols these are linguistic symbols okay like uh, if whenever we six uh, we we have a look at this kaf lam and be kalb which is an arabic word so uh, immediately we can't think about uh, uh, this uh, you know dog so these are three words which represent dog okay dog in uh, so uh, these three words kalb dog and kutta they represent the same object in in real life but just uh, uh, by just by looking at these uh, three uh, symbols or linguistic uh, forms we don't get the idea of a uh, uh, dog as you can see here uh, this is dog so uh, the relationship between these words three words and this actual dog is arbitrary so uh, it is a speech community that has decided that they are going to uh, call it kalb in arabic and dog in english speaking communities and kutta urdu speaking or hindi speaking uh, communities so now there may be some other community like french chinese they may have different uh, you know uh, linguistic form for this object it means it depends upon the speech community what uh, they call it some may call it kutta some may call it dog some may call it kalb so th the relationship is arbitrary so you can name it any way you like however the community that speaks that language they have to agree upon one uh, representation one linguistic form okay now usually a sign has got three you know uh, elements one is signifier Uh, another one is signified and third one is significant so actual relationship has been you know presented by ferdinand de saussure uh, that uh, the signified that is uh, the mental image the concept or the conceptual image in our mind can be represented through language that is signify linguistic forms so and de saussure uh, says that there is no uh, in a direct or iconic relationship between these uh, signifier and signified okay particularly the objects real like objects so this is a unique uh, feature of human language now exceptions uh although our symbols that is linguistic symbols these uh, linguistic forms or linguistic symbols they don't have direct uh, relationship with the objects real like object real life objects uh, there there exist 
arbitrariness no relationship between the word and the real object but there are certain symbols uh, in hum uh, in human language which are known as sound symbolism okay sound symbolism that they represent uh, uh, the words we use they represent the actual uh, object this is known as uh, onomatopoeic sounds okay onomatopoeic sounds and uh, like when you uh, if you have maybe you already know cuckoo so the the bird cuckoo uh, when we pronounce this word cuckoo so this is actually the sound that is produced by this word cuckoo so uh, whatever the sound is produced by this uh, bird uh, we have the same uh, uh, linguistic form okay same goes to slurp so when we have a drink uh, we uh, take in a drink so we produce a sound like in urdu we say sarap sarap so the the sound we produce uh, also has a word in language like slurp in english then we have a, a love a word w so when a fan or motor uh, you know uh, runs and goes so a constant buzzing sound is produced known as uh, uh, whir w h i w r word same is the word uh, squelch or thud so these word represents these sounds are these word this combination of sounds are these words represent the actual activity that happens actual action that happens but such words uh, are uh, rare in human language they are exceptions okay so usually language is not iconic language is symbolic so there is no direct relationship between the object in the real life and the forms which we use so if there is some uh, you know similarity or mumasilat resemblance then it is a rarity and it is uh, just uh, occasionally and it is an exception as you can see in these onomatopoeic words like cuckoo crash slurp whir uh, squelch and third so otherwise language is just uh, you know uh, uh, it is not iconic it is uh, symbolic so this property of human language is known as arbitrariness next we have uh, uh productivity creativity or open endedness these are three synonymous terms that humans are capable to produce novel utterances okay uh, uh although uh, daily uh, whenever we have we we see a new phenomenon so we can create new combination of words okay new utterances are continuous produced in human language so uh, animal communication system has a fixed reference okay and limited number of signals like cicadas which is a kind of insect it has four uh, signals and uh, no more uh, utterances no more uh, you know communication symbols vowed monkeys they have got uh, 36 uh, calls okay but their calls they cannot uh, invent more ca more calls okay and their set of communication signals is limited like if there is a da danger okay how a vowed monkey will communicate this to others so if a uh, snake is around then what is the signal chatter he uh, the uh, vowed monkey will uh, produce chatter signals chatter chatter the sound will come out from the mouth of a monkey vowed monkey known as chatter so other monkeys they will come to know that some snake is uh, uh, attacking this particular vowed monkey and if some eagle is uh, flying and uh, coming to attack and uh, then the vowed monkey will produce the sound prop 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 so it means now this is another danger but this vowed monkey cannot further say uh, what uh, how far is uh, you know uh, what type of danger is coming just it will say that eagle is coming okay now uh, let's say if it is not eagle it is snake which is flying so now vowed monkey will not be able to invent another signal uh, like uh, you can say a chat prop like this so this is uh, really embarrassing that uh, 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 animal communication system does not have productivity they can't create new you know uh, meanings or new uh, words etc but a human being uh, 
can produce uh, new utterances as they come up now here is another example of uh, uh, you know a worker b uh, there was an experiment conducted that uh, let's see let me explain this experiment there was a radio tower and uh, a beehive was placed at the foot of this high uh, uh, radio tower okay and the food source was put at the top then from this beehive 10 uh, bees were selected and they were taken to the top of this uh, tower where the food was placed okay the food was shown to these bees and then they were sent off to uh, convey this message to other bees so those 10 bees they came down to the beehive and they started dancing uh, uh, a complex dance now they uh, wanted to communicate to the, the other bees that they have found uh, that they had found a food source and uh, the message was conveyed all the bees started uh, moving and flying but they never went up because there was no uh, signal in the dancing which communicated that the food is available up so they started uh, moving in all directions east west okay and uh, south and north but none of the bees could found uh, could find the source of food it means there is no word uh, like up there is there was no uh, signal or communication signal in the uh, communication language of bees which can indicate up so it means uh, they must have some uh, fixed uh, communication system and only humans have this property to generate and create okay uh, or produce novel utterances this is known as open endedness so next we have uh, and now next property we are going to discuss is uh, uh, discreteness so this is fourth property which is discussed by jai jule and what is discreteness discreteness mean a uh, phonemic uh, meaningfulness like sounds of human language are meaningfully distinct uh, let me explain this here let's say we have these four sounds uh, as you can see here only ph and ba they are different so other sounds as you can see a c k a c k okay actually it is a it is kh so these uh, three letters uh, they represent the same sound as soon as we change pha with ba we have a different word okay so pack has different meaning and bag has different meaning same is the uh, case with bin okay and pin so when we uh, change ba with pha and we have a new meaning a new word so this is known as discreteness that every uh, sound is discrete okay and when another sound will be brought uh, then the meaning will be changed this is a very uh, unique human property uh, 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 property of human language then we have a uh, duality this is also known as double articulation so we articulate sounds at two levels one is uh, when we physically articulate each sound like there are 44 sounds in english language or we can say there are 57 sounds in urdu then uh, one level is that we say n or we say b or we say a so this is level level 1 physical level individual or discrete uh, pronunciation of sound but when we uh, you know put uh, these sounds in combination so one combination th now there are three sounds okay now one combination can be bin now another combination can be nib so when we change the combination we have two different words okay bin and nib now th they have got different meanings so this is unique feature that we can uh, pronounce uh, these sounds individually this, this is physical level but when we put them together and we join them in combinations there are many combinations we we have the options we have we have the probability to join these sounds in different uh, types of combinations so and this feature uh, gives us economy like like we have 44 sounds and with the help of these 44 sounds 
in english language we can generate an unlimited number of words okay uh, same goes to urdu in urdu we have 57 sounds and you can see the uh, repertoire of urdu language uh, uh, particularly vocabulary so all the vocabulary we find in urdu the word system words they have been generated from these 57 sound because these sounds are united together are put together in a number of combinations so this is known as duality language signals function uh, at two levels okay let me read for you how a language human language is organized at two levels okay one level one is and individual sounds uh, as individual sounds in some of these discrete forms as any uh, intrinsic meanings no intrinsic meaning none of these uh, discrete items has any intrinsic uh, intrinsic meaning like uh, na and ba and a they don't have any meaning uh, once they are separate as soon as they are joined together now they start giving us meaning like it may be bin okay or it can be nib so this is known as uh, double articulation okay and one of the most economical features of human language uh, is known as duality okay uh, as i already mentioned that from a limited set of distinct uh, sounds we can produce a very large number of sound combination that is words but this feature is not found in animals uh, communication system now next we have uh, 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 pro uh, cultural transmission again this is a unique property of human language and uh, it is six property mentioned by jajul that uh, uh, we can inherit brown eyes or dark hair from our parents okay but uh, we do not inherit language language is acquired in a culture with other speakers not from parental genes let's say a baby is born to a hindu speaking family okay and now it is take uh, it is adopted uh, from day one from a pashto speaking family now the boy uh, or the girl that is uh, adopted it may have some re uh, resemblance as far as uh, com uh, complexion is concerned the uh, eyes are concerned hair is concerned physique is concerned because these are genetic resemblance with their uh, original parents but he or she will start speaking pashto because now it has been shifted to pashto speaking community and uh, it will learn uh, pashto in a cultural uh, pashto cultural setup so language is not uh, genetically transferred it is not uh, uh, inherited rather we learn a language in a culture okay so uh, language is culturally transmitted so it does not mean that if you are born to a pashto speaking family you will always speak pashto no unless you are given pashto input okay you will never utter a single word of pashto so when you hear pashto or hindko from your siblings from your parents from your you know friends uh, people living in your locality and this way you start speaking although we are uh, we have been gifted with the faculty of acquiring language okay but uh, like we have an apparatus in in our mind this is known as innateness theory propounded by noam chomsky that we human are born to uh, we are bound to learn a language but which language it is not uh, given to us uh, you know by birth we have an apparatus we have an uh, we have a faculty to learn languages which is known as language acquisition device okay which is an imaginary device which we have that human beings will always speak but uh, which language they are going to speak it is not you know uh, given to us by birth uh, a specific language that we learn is a language we, which we learn culturally the culture we live in that provides us input so language is transmitted culturally this is a human uh, this is a unique property of human language now this is Uh, very rare in human signals okay human signals are usually uh, instinctive okay they are not learned they are not learned now uh, i'm going to discuss quickly the remaining properties which uh, are 
uh, which can be found in other human syst- uh, in uh, other communication system like animals communication system these other properties are rapid fade vocal auditory channel reciprocity then we have non directionality then we have specialization and then we have uh, prevarication first of all rapid fade yes human signals are words we produce them and they disappear quickly so they don't remain if we are speaking language uh, so we produce these words and they disappear and unless they are written uh, but uh, language is basically speech so human language has this uh, uniqueness uh, you can not uniqueness because even uh, animal sounds uh, animal signals which they produce and they create uh, produce or you know uh, utter sounds and they disappear quickly so this is a human property as well as uh, animal uh, system property that is rapid fade second one is uh, vocal auditory channel we uh, what do we do we speak uh, through speech organs and then we we use ears to hear the sounds okay and uh, uh, this is known as vocal auditory channel same is the case with dolphins dolphins can also use uh, you know vocal auditory channel then we have reciprocity we are speaking and at the same time we are so we uh, we are simultaneously speaking simultaneously speaking and uh, receiving signals from others so we are listening as well as speaking so this is human property as well as animal communication system then we have non directionality human signals can be picked up by anyone with an hearing or even unseen okay so uh, whenever we utter a sound so anyone can pick them up this is known as non directionality so our uh, language our our words our verbal forms they don't have a direction so it can be picked up from anywhere then we have specialization so what does it mean it means that linguistic symbols do not normally uh, serve any other purpose such as breathing or feeding and last one is prevarication okay prevarication uh, prevarication has not been mentioned by jay jule but it has been mentioned by uh, charles hockett that is linguistic uh, uh, messages can be false okay linguistic messages can be false false here uh, uh, jay jule mentions uh, uh, an example of uh, you know uh, another uh, you know bear and he says that uh, this falsity can be found in uh animal communication system they may communicate something which is false okay uh today i have just discussed some of the features of human communication system as well as animal communication system but topic was properties of human language and uh, as i just mentioned that human language has got 12 uh, properties as mentioned by jay jule and uh, one one set uh, is unique with human uh, you know language and another uh, set represents those features which are shared uh, by humans as well as animals uh, the p- uh, the properties which are common with the uh, uh, humans communication system they are uh, displacement arbitrariness productivity discreteness duality and cultural transmission Uh, thank you very much for listening to this video lecture soon we will record another lecture uh, that will be on chapter 4 thank you very much